don't have children. There, I've said it. I'm sorry, but don't have children, okay? Or if you do, don't assume that they're going to put you up in their home just because you're their mother every time you have a raging row with what's his name, your husband, okay? Because mine didn't. That's exactly what happened to me, okay? Darlings, it's been a nightmare, an absolute nightmare of a fucking week. Sorry for swearing, but it has. Tim gets a credit card bill. He goes absolutely batshit. Anna, what's happened to all the money? Why have you bought this, 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 this? You're spending all our cash. We can't afford to spend all this money. You've got to stop giving big bundles of cash to homeless people just because they play you a sad old tune on the old penny whistle. Paying for the entire education of some young actress, you know, putting them through drama school just because they said they loved you in Destiny's Beard. You've got to not be yourself. You've got to be a servile drone. You've got to give up on life, Anna. That's what he's saying to me. That's what it feels like he's saying to me. Oh, piss off, Tim, is what I say back. Piss off, Tim Smiles. Don't stand there and tell me what I can and can't spend our money on. He goes, but Anna, it's not your money, is it? It's not your money. You're not earning anything. I said, great. Thank you, Tim. Thank you so much. Yes. Let's bring up the fact that my agent uh, hasn't even so much farted in my eyes for three years or whatever it is. I, I lost my temper. I got very angry. I mean, he's, he's a fat little pig and it really pushed me over the edge, you know, and I can cope with his physical appearance 99% of the times, but I really lost it and I just struck him. Okay. Um, I'm not a violent person, you know, and I didn't mean to strike him, and I'm sorry, Tim, if it still bleeds, you know. And it did make a very big gash in his, in his fat left cheek. His right cheek, strangely thin. So out I stormed into the streets. I'm leaving, I never want to see you again. That's it, we're over, we're done, Tim smiles. I run rampant, I go into the library, I wander about for a bit, shouting. I mean, I'm really angry by this point. Eventually I go to uh, Monkey, my daughter's house. It was a very popular name at the time. She now calls herself Jane, but I will always call her Monkey. That's the name I gave her. I get there. Um, Monkey, you need to put me up. I've had another argument with Tim over the credit card. Monkey's against me as well. Um, probably because I just, you know, I was very tired by this point. I just threw myself onto, onto her daughter, Lemon, her um, cot. I crashed onto her cot and it just shattered. Couldn't bear my weight at all. Which was like insult to injury, really. And luckily, I hasten to add, my granddaughter wasn't in it. So she kicks me out, that's that. Thank you, um, I brought you into the world. I nursed you at my teat um, once. Took you backstage and showed you how they press buttons. You know, I made her life fun. I mean, yes, I wasn't there all the time. Sometimes I was at parties. You're an actress, okay, you have children. If you're an actor, you have children, but you, you've got to put in, you've got to live that life and they have to accept that or not. I never told her what to do with her life. I don't expect her to tell me what to do with my life and be so rotten and cruel and it's, the whole thing's horrible. So I end up uh, sat underneath this bridge, just teary-eyed and lo and behold, Along comes the homeless chap with the penny whistle that I give the bundle of cash to. He's got a laptop, sat there. He said that he set up his own online business, sort of like a new social network thing. He's just done it himself with the cash I gave him. Now he is practically a millionaire. He gave me some money. I brought it back to Tim. Um, we paid off all the debt. So egg on your face, Tim smiles. Um, and a pretty big bag of peas to Try and heal the gash. Everything's worked out fine. Thank God. Tim, I am going to keep spending your cash because it does come back. You spend to earn. And now I must go because there's a wonderful letter that's just arrived from a very talented young actress and she would very much like to see if I can help her out through college. Um, she saw me in the pie maker's mistress. Thought I was very good. Which I was surprised by because I wasn't in it. But still, hey-ho, I'll take it. <laughs> Goodbye, my darlings. Love you very much. Not too much. All right, too much. Goodbye.